Before the sun goes down today, you must be perfectly calm and restored, because tomorrow you are going to learn not doing. He pointed to some jagged, dark, menacing-looking peaks toward the north. We reached the high desert around the lava mountains in the afternoon. In the distance, the dark brown lava mountains looked almost sinister. The sun was very low on the horizon and shone on the western face of the solidified lava, tinting its dark brownness with a dazzling array of yellow reflections. I could not keep my eyes away. Those peaks were truly mesmerizing. By the end of the day, the bottom slopes of the mountains were in sight. There was very little vegetation on the high desert. All I could see were cacti and a kind of tall grass that grew in tufts. Don Juan stopped to rest. He sat down and carefully propped his food gourds against a rock. He said we were going to camp on that spot for the night. He had picked a relatively high place. From where I stood, I could see quite a distance away, all around us. I became involved in watching the speed with which the crimson clouds in the west faded into a uniform thick dark gray. Don Juan got up and went to the bushes. By the time he came back, the silhouette of the lava mountains was a dark mass. He sat down next to me and called my attention to what seemed to be a natural formation on the mountains toward the northeast. It was a spot which had a color much lighter than the surroundings. While the whole range of lava mountains looked uniformly dark brown in the twilight, the spot he was pointing at was actually yellowish or dark beige. I could not figure out what it could be. I stared at it for a long time. It seemed to be moving. I fancied it to be pulsing. When I squinted my eyes, it actually rippled as if the wind were moving it. Look at it fixedly, Don Juan commanded me. At one moment, after I had maintained my stare for quite a while, I felt that the whole range of mountains was moving toward me. That feeling was accompanied by an unusual agitation in the pit of my stomach. The discomfort became so acute, I stood up. Sit down, Don Juan yelled, but I was already on my feet. From my new point of view, the yellowish formation was lower on the side of the mountain. I sat down again, without taking my eyes away, and the formation shifted to a higher place. I stared at it for another instant, and suddenly I arranged everything into the correct perspective. I realized that what I had been looking at was not in the mountains at all, but was really a piece of yellowish green cloth hanging from a tall cactus in front of me. I laughed out loud and explained to Don Juan that the twilight had helped to create an optical illusion. He got up and walked to the place where the piece of cloth was hanging, took it down, folded it, and put it inside his pouch. What are you doing that for? This piece of cloth has power. For a moment, you were doing fine with it, and there was no way of knowing what may have happened if you would have remained seated. 